All right, guys. So we've got a really good question from one of our customers. Comes up quite often, I think, uh, Matt. It's, can you glue King Starboard? And if so, what adhesive would you use? How many times have you answered that, <laughs> Matt? A, a number of times. Too many times. Can't count them. So what's the answer? It, it depends, right? It, we don't do anything with gluing Starboard here at, at Boat Outfitters. But y y there are customers who I've spoken with who have had mixed results with gluing Starboard for whatever their particular application is. Right. I've seen I've seen people who use cover plates to cover an existing hole. I've seen customers who use starboard and, and bore holes into the back of it and fill it with a ton of adhesive and then use it for a, a, like a, a transom mount transducer adapter. Yeah. Actually, now that you said that there's that vendor that I've been working to reach out to that's using the same kind of concept, but again, mm -hmm. not really weight bearing. Right. Right. I mean, it's got to pull a transducer through the water, but, you know, we might be talking about. 40 50 miles an hour tops in some in some cases a, a lot less yep um but it's in one direction it's not carrying the weight of a person i mean you can put your hand in the water and drag it through at those speeds right not saying you want to do that regularly but yeah king starboard it it, it depends right the only thing that we use an adhesive on starboard for here is for our helm pads when we use the, the PE foam, the shark deck on our helm risers. Which is and just like a pill and stick adhesive. PS3M right. adhesive. Yeah. 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 And even then, I think what we do is we do mill down the surface that it's going against uh, to, so that you can't, you know, kind of peel it back with your, your finger. I, I use exactly. A, you know, uh, I've got a, a nine-year-old, and the question is, if he wanted to get it off, could he get it off? And I think with most adhesives, with Starboard's high-density polyethylene material, doesn't accept the adhesive really well. I think the answer is going to be yes, if he wants to get it off. You know, and, and so for that reason, I, I, I say you can't glue King Starboard for anything structural. You know, um, you know, like you use the cover plate example. The nice thing you have when you have a, a, a cover plate is you've got real big surface area that you could really put a lot of adhesive and, you know, and lay it against the fiberglass. And will it still be there weeks, months, years? You'll probably. But here's what you couldn't do. You really couldn't take and, and build something, like if you're trying to build a box, just because right. there's not really much surface area that you're applying the, the glue to. Um, so you know, from a practical application standpoint for what we do in our manufacturing facility, you know, we don't glue any, any King Starboard. Now, there are ways to uh, weld King Starboard. There's high-density polyethylene welding rods that you can weld Starboard. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's the best option because there's no real way to make it look that nice. Like you can weld metals and then sand it down and you know, powder coat it. Um, There's some builders that are mm -hmm. doing that line, building full boats out of HDPE. Yeah. yeah, there are. Out there. I don't know what their manufacturing process is at this point, but they are like fully welded HDPE hulls. It, and we, we've had some boxes welded, uh, specifically like the shells of boxes welded for waterproofing right. applications. Mm -hmm. Um and, and, and don't get me wrong, again, going back to adhesives on starboard, we, we recommend if someone's mounting a door or a tackle box, we recommend they use an elastomeric sealant around the edge of the frame. Mm -hmm. But we're not doing that so that it structurally is holding it in place. You're doing that so that you avoid water running down the fiberglass behind the frame. You know, so it'll adhere to it. You know, mm -hmm. it, it just isn't necessarily the, the best a structural thing. And right. there's and other, there's other options too, right? I mean, I, I remember when I first started here, we met a guy at Ibex that had a glue, but there were some restrictions to it, right? It had to be kept in a refrigerator. So it didn't, yeah. you know, from a production capacity for us, that's not something we can do, but you know, back to your other point to where, you know, you would have to have somebody holding up each piece over time till it cured. Um, it would, yeah. it would cause a lot of issues. It doesn't lend itself to production. You know, here's another thing. If you have an application, that thing really needs to be glued in place. Uh, you know, acrylic, uh, accepts glue beautifully, yeah, right? right? Yeah, so all, all day long, you can glue up acrylic. I mean, you can glue up two pieces of acrylic, and if you know how to do it right and you have clamps, you can glue it and then polish it out to where you don't even see a, a seam. Yeah, we do that for some big mm -hmm. uh, transom doors. So yeah, if, if someone, uh, let's say they were doing a, a thin um, shim for a uh, speaker trim ring, mm -hmm. right? And they really wanted to glue it, they didn't want fasteners, just use acrylic. And mm -hmm. the, the relative, you know, it is more expensive material, um, but it's glossy, you know, and, and you could glue it in place, you know, really well. Whereas I'd be a little bit nervous, you know, especially if you're mounting your, uh, your speaker. Potentially expensive yeah. speaker. Yeah. And yeah. you're running and you said, I wanted to glue starboard. I don't know. That's on the. Hope you got a tough speaker wire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That, that's, that's. A, 
definitely so, not making that so where we're, we'll leave it is we feel like it just kind of depends on the application we're not using it in, in our, our build process here a lot of times at work ever right, right. Yeah, and to answer the the, the the secondary question of what adhesive would you recommend i i there, there's not any that i have a personal success with so I, I can't really recommend anything i would say that you know from what i've seen i've used you know 3m 5200 on starboard you know it it holds to it a little bit it's more it, it's better for like a waterproofing type you know, we've seen people use silicone sealants in between the frames and the fiberglass that does okay but i mean it will pull right off yeah the elastomeric i've found is what holds the best but even still you know we took those samples we had three inch by three inch blocks of starboard and stuck the flat sides together and i couldn't pull them apart with my hands but you know, we, we did get it apart with a screwdriver. Yeah, you don't have much leverage. There. You don't have a lot of leverage there. But, I, I, you know, once it was apart, I was able to rub it off with my thumb. Yeah. yeah. You know, it, it it took a little effort, but it held on better than all of the other stuff that I've used at this point. Un to untreated starboard. So mechanical fasteners, if you can. Absolutely. 